You've probably been the victim of a silent call. Now, it happens when call centres use automated systems to dial numbers but don't have enough staff to handle the calls. Now the government is trying to crack down on companies that do this by raising the maximum penalty from £50,000 to £2 million. It's been holding a consultation on the issue which closes today. Well, David Hickson is from the uh, Stop Silent Calls campaign. He's with me now. David, uh, just from your point of view, tell us how distressing this can be for people when they get calls like this at home. For many people, they're very concerned because they don't know who it is. They think it might be someone with evil intent. Happily nowadays, the message is getting across and most people realise it's most likely to be one of these automated dialers. However, the experience is still uncomfortable, it's still distressing to hear just nothing when you pick up your phone at home. Do you think uh, raising the kind of fine, raising the penalties will make a difference to companies? Ofcom have powers given by Parliament to take action against people who practice this nuisance. I think the suggestion that the penalty not being big enough is only part of the story. There is much more that Ofcom should be doing, and I hope people who are responding to the consultation are saying, fine, have a bigger fine, but also make sure you use the powers, take action against people who are causing this unacceptable nuisance. And as far as people at home are concerned, what could they do for themselves uh, you know, in this situation? The most important thing is not to be distressed by the experience. It's often nothing of any particular concern. If you don't want a particular telephone call, even if someone speaks, probably the best thing to do is just say, no, thank you, put the phone down and get on with your life. Don't let it distress you. If you're really concerned to see this stopped, Find out what you can about the person who's called. If they're making a silent call, they shouldn't be doing that. And if you can, like me, do some investigation, report them to Ofcom, and who knows, perhaps we can persuade them to take action now. And what about the telephone preference service? What is that? That's a useful thing for people who don't want to receive any direct marketing calls. It is fairly widely, but not exclusively, respected. So you are free to sign up for that online or by telephone if you feel you don't want to get any direct marketing calls. But don't forget, that does include appeals from charities and, for goodness sake, it may be somebody offering a service or a product that you're interested in. David Hickson, thank you very much indeed for talking to us and bringing us up to date. We'll keep you posted on that story and uh, all the rest of the news throughout the day. Back to you.